You want to take the extra to take the It's the best attitude you have to have. Run. You gotta run. You know, people come at you full speed. So you just gotta run by them, try to run by them full speed. But and then when you see the scene, you gotta make the cut. Do you like return? Oh, yeah, definitely. And why? Why? Just another chance, you know, to make a play. And, um, you know, I feel like I get excited to crowd and get the uh, offense in a, a good position, you know, and I feel like I was doing that. KJ, where, where, do you, where have you really made strides? Where have you gotten the coach's attention from your vantage point of being more a part of the offense? Where, where, where did you get better, if that's what you want to call it, this year maybe compared to last year? I feel like the uh, ability after the catch, you know, just making cuts, making people miss and stuff like that. Yeah. And did you work? How much did you work on that? I mean, where, where, where did that come from? The I feel improvement like it came from confidence, you know. And then doing it in practice on people, and I knew that would translate to the game. Yeah. Urban and JT both said Iowa has a very good defense. What stands out to you when you watch them on film? Uh, you know, they have uh, very good corners. Um, and I feel like they have uh, their linebackers, they're coming downhill, so they come in head first type stuff. So, I mean, they're, a lot of, they're aggressive, so, you know, we respect them a lot. And so we go to the game with a game plan to uh, help win. Is Josie Jewell a player who stands out for what they do on defense? You said what? Josie Jewell, their middle linebacker, yeah. does he, he stand out a lot? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, he, he's one of those coming head first. So, you know, if I got to block him, I got to bring bring something with it. <laughs> do you really, I mean, do, do I, does a guy like that really just jump out on video when you watch him? I mean, his attitude or yeah, his you ability? Can tell, you can tell he's running the show on film, you know. Um, and he's all over the ball. You know, he's everywhere in the right places. So, yeah, yeah he definitely stands out. KJ, some people say that this could be a trap game for you guys, especially after you know the mental, physical wear and tear that you had to go through last weekend against mm -hmm. Penn State. How's this week of practice been for you guys? Do you get that sense maybe there's a little bit of a lull to so good, uh, you know, possibly? Uh, we we looking at it as another college football game. You know, that's how we take practice, and you know we coming at uh, this game like any other game. Did you guys, I don't know, for one of another yeah. term, get over the hump? Saturday with that kind of win, with that kind of comeback effort, is there a different feel this week than there was this this time of, a week ago from the standpoint of a confidence or, you know, everybody kept waiting for you guys to play Penn State to prove yourself. I mean, definitely a confident uh, builder, you know, for being Penn State, you know, they were a great team. Um, but also, though, like, like I said, you know, going forward, you know, you just got to keep practicing like we've been practicing because they up the practice on us even more just so we can keep going. And, you know, like versus Penn State, that was, that's why we got through that game, you know. Mm -hmm. um, how hard we was practicing, you could tell they was tired. We was good. We were still ready to go. So I feel like that's what's been helping us. You know, somebody asked uh, JT earlier this evening if he was in a zone mm -hmm. <laughs> on Saturday night, and he basically said, you know, playing play to play, and I see, and I'm trying to throw the ball and complete it. And I'm like, what? what from your vantage point, was your quarterback in, in the zone there, especially fourth quarter? Yeah, you could tell, you know, uh, he was leading us down the field. And, you know, he was calm the whole time, so we fed off his Mike, energy. What, how would you describe, especially some of those throws he made in the fourth quarter, his arm? Just like we know all the other stuff he does, but we don't. I feel like we don't talk about his arm a ton. Yeah. What did he do to make those throws in that spot? I mean, he did what he was supposed to do, what practice do. When Coach Ryan Day, you see it every day, you know, they work on those throws, and then he was putting it in the tight spots. So he was very accurate at the time. KJ, you guys continue to run, I call it crossbow, but you know, where you guys cross in the middle, things like that. Uh, y'all didn't do, I'm not even sure y'all even had that last year. I don't remember seeing it. But I guess confidence wise, what does it give you confidence from the standpoint of knowing that stuff is still working even against a good defense? I feel like it's unstoppable with that play because uh, uh, you don't know who's getting the ball. You don't know where where people going. So it just put the athletes in space. Yeah, because I, I think JT, you know, a lot of times he's thrown to that middle guy who settles down. But yeah. I think he hits you on like a clear. You clear it on through, and he hits you on the right side, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just like it's basically pick your poison who you want to throw to because you know, yeah. it can't be stopped. Oh, look at that smile. It can't be stopped. <laughs>